This is part one of the presentation of the Deep Democracy Institute certification tracks. The Deep Democracy Institute has its headquarters in the United States in Portland, Oregon. DDI has training programs on the west coast of the United States, in Europe, the Middle East, East Africa, Russia, and Central Asia. You can reach us at www.deepdemocracyinstitute.org or call 1-503-395-8694. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our PowerPoint presentation for the certification options that we have at the DDI training programs. I'm Ellen, and I'm sitting here with Max. Hi, everybody. And we're going to lead you through this together. Yes, and if you haven't read our training PDF yet, please download it from the link below and read it first, because all of this is going to make much more sense. Think of it if you learn with us. You follow areas of interest and you put them into action. Your learning is focused on understanding yourself, the methods that you work with, the people and groups that you work with, and put it into action. And the path to get there is very different for different people. And that path is, so to speak, a walkabout through fields, mountains, rivers, cities, and villages. And the certification is the map afterwards that tell you and the world where have you been. So it's not a curriculum in the sense of you going through certain credit-based learning events or learning experiences so that you come out in a certain way, the way the program wants you. It's meant for you to develop yourself and to develop these competencies in an interaction with your guiding team. And the certificate frames your learning, like Fukushima Roshi, a calligraphy which depicts every day is a good day. And you see the black frame around it, which makes it someone easier or is able to guide our vision towards the center of where the real core, the real expression, and the real depth of your learning lies. So deep democracy leadership is a sum of a few different aspects that we're putting together and differentiating between. The first is deep democracy coaching, and that's about following your own personal experience. We call it following your own dreaming process. Yeah, and that is a very special aspect of process work. It's very different from all the other coaching methods because we bring forward those aspects of you that are usually marginalized by your everyday consciousness. And those aspects are usually or frequently the strongest and most space in time invariant. With other words, they're in a way you could say the most reliable aspects about you. And we, in our coaching methods, help you to bring your everyday conscious attitudes together with your deeply felt and sensed moving experiences about what your role in this world is all about and what your deepest nature wants you to be all about this lifetime. The second aspect is deep democracy group process. This is facilitating large and small groups. and. What's very special about Deep Democracy group process is that we help to bring out processes that are unspoken and marginalized by the group. Yes, we want to show the multidimensionality of group, the many, many aspects, and how what frequently appears like diversity or conflict, in fact, are powerful vectors forces within a group that organically have a tendency to be able to play together if facilitated in a way that brings forward awareness of how they relate to each other. And then our third part, which we are also very, very excited about, is our deep democracy organizational development. It's our own concoction of change management tools, methods, and approaches which are based on Arnold Mindel's world work and deep democracy concepts. It develops strategy out of vision and puts it into action by using quantum aspects, by using the field concept, by working with initial conditions, and by using many signals other than just the measurable results that one frequently is hypnotized by. It's a fun, fabulous, and extremely powerful method 
how to develop your organization if you are on the top of the leadership or if you work in a particular department. It's helpful for personal strategies for your own professional and personal development and how they interact with each other. That's our third aspects of leadership that we bring into our training. So as you can see now, deep democracy leadership is a sum of these aspects, but much more than a sum of these aspects, because they're all interconnected and they feed each other. They're interdependent and enhancing of one another. Yes, think of these three competencies, coaching, deep democracy group facilitation, and deep democracy organizational development as three, let's say, force fields among which your own leadership unfolds. And that's like a dynamic dance. At one point, you are coaching. Are you? Or are you facilitating a large group? Are you working with an individual? Yes. Are you also working with the group? Yes. Now you're working with the group. Does it affect the individual? Yes. Does that flow into the strategy? Yes. Will there be an action at the end? Yes. Will that action influence back the coaching process? Yes. Your particular dynamic dance, that's your personal, unique leadership, a magic pattern that unfolds as you live it, do it, notice it, and dance it. Well, the certification, as you remember, the map that shows you where your learning path took you, allows you to demonstrate that you had areas of special interest or specialization. Now, from the Deep Democracy Institute, in our training, we also have certain ideas about non-negotiables in terms of becoming a Deep Democracy leader. Study this to see if you feel mirrored and understood with these concepts and if this might be a fit for you. For example, as you can see here, our flagship clearly is the leadership program in which you specialize in those various aspects, coaching, group facilitation, and organizational development, and how you can play the interplay between these various fields. And all of us feel strongly that one of the first emphasis, so to speak, you're still learning everything together, as you know, but your first emphasis will be on your inner work and how to work with individuals. We call that the coaching emphasis. We think that is an absolute non-negotiable. Every leader, every facilitator has a tendency to look outside to the problems in the organizations, to the problems in the team. That's why they are leaders. They are interested in the world at large and they have a tendency to marginalize their own inner situation, their own, so to speak, the scene at home, inside. And we want, right to begin with, demonstrate and help you to understand that your own personal development, the way you deal with your own inner process, is the strongest leverage for your leadership, your mindset, so to speak. Your awareness and how you work with it is your strongest, most powerful leadership tool at any given moment. Every leader also must be trained in group facilitation, large group facilitation, even if you're a leader who sits at your desk and leads from your computer, you still need to know how to facilitate a large group. Because as a leader and as an individual on this planet, you are not an isolated being. You're part of a larger field and you need to know how to work within that field. And as a third emphasis, we would like for you to focus on our deep democracy, organizational and business development all these change management issues, as they're also sometimes called. How to now develop strategy, change organizations, bring vision into action beyond the normal linear competitive dynamic strategies that are around these days and understand how this is a whole field in which you work, which you can notice and work with many, many signals other than just those that are measurable. Multi-dimensional strategies and actions. 
So let's say you are a person who is especially interested in coaching. Maybe you're a coach yourself or you would like to become a coach. Then you have the option to emphasize in coaching. This means that you will start out with the phase one, coaching one, as part of the leadership certification. But then in the second phase, while you will still be doing group process, group facilitation, your emphasis within that phase will still be on coaching. Same goes for the third phase. You go into the organizational and business development with an emphasis on coaching. We call that then coaching three. So as you can see, you can specialize, put your emphasis on coaching. That means you'll have coaching one, coaching two, and coaching three, in which you're placing your emphasis on honing your coaching skills in each of these years. And as we've described before, those still need to come within the framework of all three categories, coaching, group facilitation, and organizational and business development. Yes, there's an emphasis. Let's say you're a coach, you will still want to understand how your coachee is experiencing and working within a team and organization. That's why you have a background in group facilitation. And understanding deep democracy, organizational development and change management, you will be able to also coach your coachee in the area of where she puts her various visions into actions and develops strategies and what have you. So that's all an integral part of the coaching certification track.